Alright, today's review, Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the Sega Saturn. This is also on PS1 and Nintendo 64. The PS1 and Sega Saturn version are the same game. Nintendo 64 version is slightly different. This game kicks ass. 9.4 out of 10. It's kind of retarded, but that's part of the charm of this game. There's zero balance. I think it's cool, like, if you take this Raiden, this is this is Raiden from Mortal Kombat 2. You could also play Raiden from Mortal Kombat 1. Kano from Mortal Kombat 3. Here he is from Part 1. Kung Lao from 3. Kung Lao from 2. Jax from 3. And Jax from 2. I think that's... I think that kicks ass. I'm gonna use uh, Baraka from Mortal Kombat 2. So they basically... They basically threw in Mortal Kombat characters from 1, 2, and 3 into one game, which is awesome. Let's see, let's go to a Mortal Kombat 1 level. So I think that's cool if you, that's what I did, I went to Sonya and pressed up and start so I could choose a level now. Now I'll go to Subway, Mortal Kombat 3 level. Uh, I put in codes already, one button fatality, so that's why I had the game ready. And to avoid a couple load screens, there's a lot of load screens in this game, unfortunately, but it's not too bad. See, loading. I wish this was re-released on Xbox Live Arcade without the load times. They re-released Mortal, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on it, but not this one. Fight! <laughs> What I don't like about this game, the music tempo is slowed down slightly. So I think that sucks. Like, this song is, like, slightly slower than the original. Still sounds good, though. It looks like the arcade version of a Mortal Kombat game. I mean, Sega Saturn, PS1, their games were pretty close to the arcade. Check it out, I'm gonna beat him up till he explodes. Why does a robot have bones? Wins. See, that's, <laughs> that's that's part of the retardedness of this game, but it's okay. That's like I said, it's part of the charm of this game. It's ridiculous. The load times are kind of long. It, it sucks, but you know, I could live with it. It's still a kick-ass game. If it had no load times, I would give it a nine point five or a nine point six out of ten, but. Life isn't perfect. Yeah, it is kind of a long way. This Mortal Kombat, it's a uh, you know ridiculous amounts of blood. Look, he should bleed to death right there. So yeah, Mortal Kombat 3, they took out cool characters like Baraka. So it's kind of cool that they put him back in uh, Mortal Kombat trilogy. Because Baraka kicks ass. Yeah, ridiculously powerful moves. I like how he still screams when his head's already come off. That's the one thing that's cool about this game. The one-button fatalities. You know, I remember some by memory. You know, but, uh... Yeah, you just press one button to pull them off. So that kicks ass. Can't remember all of them. Fight. This looks like a, this is an Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 level. So it's basically Raiden and Baraka from Mortal Kombat 2. So it's kind of cool to see the different them in a different environment. He's kicking his ass. Let's, I'm going to try to do the animality. Fight. It's pretty dumb. So yeah, they took uh, Mortal Kombat 2 characters and, you know, added new moves for these guys. Let's see. There you go. Hey, look how retarded this shit is. His hands are still floating. <laughs> That's lazy programming. So 
I, yeah, I think that's awesome. You know, I, you know, it's kind of lazy there, but at least they added new moves for the, for the old Mortal Kombat characters. So I, I like that. That's awesome. Again, I'm gonna show you guys some of the severe unbalances of this game. It's pretty bad. Let me. Unfortunately, I have to sit through this load screen. Fight. But I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use Rain. He's probably the one of the most unbalanced characters in this game. It's it's bad. It's pretty bad. Like 50% damage combos. I think the this game has 100% damage combos, but I don't know how to do them. Maybe they fixed it. I think they fixed it actually in a few later versions of Mortal Kombat trilogy. I don't know if I I don't know if I have a later version. But check out this guy. This guy is retardedly powerful. Let's see. Let's go to uh, go to a Mortal Kombat 2 level. This is probably, like I said, him and uh, this guy, Noob Saibot. Probably the most unbalanced characters in the game. Here we go. Let me see if I could pull off some of his retarded, ridiculous combos here. But yeah, I give this game a 9.4 out of 10 because it's one of those games I played with my friends, like, for hours and hours and hours when I was brand new. Look at this shit. Well, it toned it down, only 31%. But yeah, see? And then his roundhouse makes him go across the screen, like, on the opposite side. So he's, he's ridiculously overpowered. Look, how does she fly out to the other side of the screen? So yeah, I do think I have the uh, modified version where he doesn't do 100% damage. Let me try. Let me try to... Ah, uh, see, I was trying to, like, keep her in the air forever. I don't condone violence against women. By the way, oh, I have to point that out again. Ah, oh, I didn't do his fatality. Alright, that that's it. That's, uh, that's Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the Sega Saturn. Kick-ass game. Buy it on Sega Saturn, PS1. I'm not sure if the Nintendo 64 version kicks ass like the like these versions, but definitely get it on Sega Saturn or PS1. All right, everyone, kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.